Welcome to Think Tank, powered by Vodacom. It was only one big match at the weekend, and it was a thriller. Kept the crowd engrossed with action that seesawed from the left to the right. I am, of course, talking about the Wimbledon final. Djokovic, he did it. He won. Yeah. He Get back to the rugby, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Springboks, will 15. Uh, you know, high-scoring win. Scored seven tries. Not a bad way to start the season. Yeah, but, you know, that world 15, creaking, eh? Um, Nothing fluid about that attack. Lots of sieve-like defense. <laughs> fluid the night before, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, I think the will was there, but the, and the heart was there, but the, the ability, you know, they were, they were obviously put together. You yeah, know, not and, organized. And, and it, yeah, and it looked like that. Um, so, yeah, so I'm not sure what we, what we learned from that. Not a hell of a lot, I, I would have presumed. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you look at the three new guys, it's probably where you want to... Did we do okay there? So, Whiteley, I thought, was really quiet. I'm not sure we play a game that, that brings a linking eight into it. You know, That's a good point. I know. <laughs> um, so why was he there to start with? Exactly. So, it worries me a bit because, you know, his fullback there is uh, on a boat uh, uh, jackpot. And... Uh, oh, Skalfberger, PSP. Yeah, potentially. Um, so, you know, without a Vermeer and without a Willem Alberts, it's... It's it's just not a shame, man. It's not, it's not a game that that that, that a Whiteley comes into yep. easily. Yeah, I, I would give him a few more and see what happens. Um, but he was quiet in the day. Uh, I thought Koch at tight head was good. Um, there weren't that many scrums. I was crying all evening. Yeah. <laughs> not nearly enough scrums. <laughs> you uh, actually went inside from the press box to watch something else on TV. I did Wimbledon. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so so you sort of can't read too much into that. But he looked competent, and I think he's, yeah. he's definitely the future there. I think Malherbe will get a start this weekend, which will be good. So yeah. I think we're moving away from a reliance on Yanni, which is a very good thing. Right. Because as you pointed out before the show, the stats aren't good for Yanni. Jeez, he's a yeah. And I mean, as, as the game has sort of progressed and got faster. Uh, Yanni's sort of moving backwards with with these young guys coming through. Um, yeah, and as you said, you know, to use him as a ball carrier is a bit worrying because it's just not his strength. So I like the the future there with Koch and Malhoba. And then the biggie, of course, was was Creel at yep. 13, where uh, Mayo got a lot of stick for it. And I, it was wonderful. Yep. You know, I think we've, we've. I mean, we said on the, in fact, the first ever think tank, we, th we said the Bolter would be Creel. Yeah, you a, said as the Bolter would be Creel. Yep. Um, I thought it would be at 15. Yeah. Um, but the fact that it worked at 13, or not worked, I mean, that's, it's too early to tell, but it, it looked really good. Dallander, of course, was, was the star of the show. Well, I was going to say, wonderful. if you can't look good outside <laughs> that guy, my goodness. Exactly. Then it's game um, over. And, you know, like uh, Stormers Province have, have mixed and matched 12 and 13 with, with the Villiers and Dallander. Even, well, De Jong's obviously not now 13. But uh, Dallander's been great at Super Rugby, and he just took that form into, in, in, into the next level, which was fantastic to see. And the fact that now we've got a you know, a 13 that, that probably can step and can play a, a little bit more ball-in-hand kind of game is exciting. Victor Matfield was outstanding in contesting the lineup. Can we win a World Cup without this guy? People, some people think we shouldn't be taking Victor to the World Cup. I think he's amazing. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't think we can win the World Cup without him. Do you, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, he's, he's got to stay now. Uh, I was, you know, at the time when he came back into the game, sure. I said, you know, uh, you know, it's been too long. But the fact of the matter is that our, we, we, you know, we're scraping the barrel there now. Yeah. Um, so I agree, he is... He is without doubt a key component uh, of, of, of the Springbok side and pack and, and line out. Not sure he should be skipper. Um, yeah. I've always had a yeah, yeah. little question mark around that, but you know, I, I don't think he would. Um, yeah. De Villiers comes back or Formulan comes back and you know, we've, yeah. we've got skippers. But yeah, we need him. Um, the, the obvious question around that now is reliance on, on aged players. Mm. You know, Skulk's elderly, Victor's yeah. old. Yeah. Uh, Jean de Villiers is not exactly a spring chicken. Yeah. Uh, so. I suppose you want to have the mix of the two, but yeah. there's a little bit of a reliance on the old boys. Yeah, you see, I don't think there's really a problem with that as long as you've got sort of powerhouse players on the inside. But without guys like Dwayne and Willem, you know, Victor's clean out technique is not great. You only do perceive the liability there. Yeah. You've got a lot of passengers on the side when it gets to the rough stuff now because we don't have Alberts and, and Dwayne Vermeulen just knocking people out. Yeah, so true. And, you know, we saw a lot of, uh, of Matt Field at third centre. You know, he likes that. Yeah. Putting a little kick in. Yeah. Not sure that's where we should be going. <laughs> yeah. I do think, you know, um, Bismarck and, and Eben now need to step up as carriers. Yeah. Uh, and they can easily. Those are, they're, they're big guys. They're yeah. big chunks of meat strong. We need work. a guy like Beast to come back as well to his best physical yeah, form. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Tag, we were talking about Beast there. That brings us to the question of the week, which comes from Rugby Cookie. If you've got a dominant front row, why substitute them? Are we saying that the props in South Africa are not fit enough? What's the, what's the play there? 
Yeah, so you know, as, as a coach myself, it's 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 tricky to 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 know when to use the bench, and and you almost feel like obliged. You've got these guys; they've given up a week of practice, and you feel obliged to use them. And I, I actually think that even creeps up to international level. Right. It should never, of course. Uh, of but course, I, you know. But uh, seventy-seven minutes or seventy-nine minutes substitution oh, that should be banned. It's unacceptable. Full match, <laughs> match salary for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's crazy stuff. I mean, it's just basic to give the guy a cap. But I mean, back to the front row, which is the most important part of the game. Obviously. Uh, um, yeah, so you've got three of them on the bench, right. and again, so you, you've got that little obligation. Um, but also, you know, normally the, the, the other side is doing the same thing. So, sort of 25, 20 minutes to go, they bring on a, a whole new front row. It can really change the dynamic of a scrum. So you you almost anticipate that, and you right. use, you use you know it's, it's it's a weapon in your artillery now. It's a full front row on the bench. But I, I just think you know it needs to be contextual in that you need to see what's happening in the game. And, and if, you, if if your front row is dominating, even if a new front row comes on, yeah. you know, perhaps stick it out for a bit longer. And I'm I'm not sure we do that yet. Uh, mm. Well, mm. Uh, I think you know uh, Mayers hasn't been f- fantastic on this use of the bench, been a bit formulaic. I do think it's got better though. But yeah, look, it, it's a weapon that you need to use in context with what's happening on the game, not not a, not according to a formula. Right. Last word, Tank. That's it for this week, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. We need to keep, keep those questions coming in so we can keep the big fellow on his toes. <laughs> Please use the hashtag ThinkTank when you send those through. And stay with us as we head into the Rugby Championship to watch the Springboks take on Australia in Brisbane this week. Enjoy. Ciao.